As of build 4.8.37, 3D Code has added some new options to the voxel conversion dialog, which exists in the Sculpt workspace. But I first want to point out that if you are importing a low polygon model into the Sculpt workspace, you might notice some faceting when you convert it to voxels. That's why you may need to subdivide it beforehand. But subdividing it will not always work depending on the type of model. If you bring in a really low polygon model, I mean extremely low poly, and it doesn't have supporting edge loops around hard edges and details, you're going to have problems. It's not altogether different than the problems you would have inside a typical 3D application when you go to subdivide without properly adding supporting edge loops around hard edges and details. To be clear, 3D Coat is no exception to that general rule. There is no substitute for proper model preparation prior to importing. This low polygon model has a lot of curvature, so it will help illustrate the issue. I'll go to the Bake menu, choose Paint Mesh to subdivide Sculpt Mesh. I'll hit OK. I don't need to import it as a child. And with Import without voxelization, it's going to bring it into surface mode, which is what we want. I'll step out of the import tool. It's the same mesh except 3D Coat triangulated it. There are a couple different ways we can convert this to voxels. One is to hit the enter key and you're converting it to voxels and then it automatically converts it right back into surface mode in the same process. Let me hit the enter key and you'll see what I'm talking about. We have these new options in this voxel conversion dialog. The previous one only had the poly count that you would choose to pre-select the resolution you want. Here we have the initial poly count, which you could also notice in the status bar at the bottom of the UI. By default, 3D Coat is going to auto-close any holes in the model. You can uncheck that if necessary. Subdivide before voxelization is a very important option that's been added, and I'll go through a couple of attempts just so you can see when it might be most applicable. In this attempt, I'm going to stick with the default values and hit OK. As you can see with wireframe turned on, it's quite a jump in resolution. I'll go ahead and come out of wireframe so I can get a better look at the result. It's a little bit rough in the gaps here, as well as the fact that we have this faceting. Why is that occurring? Well, that's because voxels do not have surface normals, which allow the viewport smoothing you see in surface mode and all 3D applications. Voxels are just volumetric cubes or pixels in 3D space. So we need to subdivide the geometry first before we convert it to voxels to prevent the faceting. Let's undo by hitting Control Z. And we will hit the Enter key one more time. This time I'm just going to increase the voxel resolution to, let's say, one and a half million. Now, it's not as rough in the gaps, and that tells me that we can increase the resolution enough to get rid of that, or if I just switch to voxel mode, I can use smooth all, and it does a very good job of smoothing out these rough edges. But I still have this faceting, so we need to make another attempt by hitting Control-Z. This time when I hit Enter, not only am I going to increase the resolution for about 2.5 million, I can always resample back down later on if I need, so don't worry about the high poly count at this point. This time we want to subdivide before voxelization. And as you may have noticed on this particular model, it does have some supporting edge loops around hard edges, so that will help us. So I'm going to subdivide two times and I can see the estimated poly count from the subdivision. I hit OK. And now we have a smooth surface. We have a few rough edges. I could go ahead and smooth all in surface mode, but I'm just going to switch to voxel mode because I do think in this instance, using smooth all in voxel mode is a better solution than smooth all in surface mode. This is our voxel object. It's a big improvement over previous attempts. And after smoothing the entire model a few times, it should clean up the small areas of roughness that remain, such as the crevices. I'm smooth all two or three times. And it cleans it up nicely. Okay, so that's a look at the voxel conversion dialog. You'll get that when you hit the enter key while in surface mode or when you 
convert from surface mode to voxel mode. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.